Ambition is about trying to do big things. Mm-hmm. You know, it's the, it's the little things that you can do every day when you get up, you feed yourself, you dress yourself, you head off to work, you head out to the park. Anyone can do those things, but ambition is about the big things. It's what are you doing today that gets you to something bigger tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow that gets you to something bigger next month and next year and so on? It's about the big things. Okay, so are you ambitious? Oh, I am ambitious. I'm ambitious personally. I'm ambitious for the family, I'm ambitious for the business, I'm ambitious for the country. I think it's the driving force behind people wanting to do things better tomorrow than they do them today. So it's, it's, so it's about living your best future, to me, is about ambition, defines ambition. Why do you think you're this way? I think there's something about being born at the end of the world as we are here in New Zealand that means we have an inferiority complex uh-huh. and there's a little bit of that that says actually we, you know, can we do better we, we want to be like those people in that country or those people in that business and it's, and it's about that desire to improve and to be better I think that, that's what it's about it's overcoming that innate inferiority complex we have Someone I love is uh, Sarah Robert Hagen, yeah. who, you know, former president of Gatorade. She's now running Flywheel. Uh, she's written a terrific book called Extreme You, which I think at, at its heart is about ambition and, and how to harness it at the per- personal level. And she, she just lives what she, she talks about and writes about. So I've got a huge respect for, for what she's done and what she's going to do. It's less about enabling somebody to be more ambitious and it's more about giving them the tools or, or watching them gather the tools to execute on ambition. So there will be things right now, today, tomorrow, next week that I need in order to deliver my ambitions. Yeah. But it's my job to figure out what those tools are, what those processes are, how, where do I find them, how do I bend them to my will. Mm. That's the challenge. So when you think about ambition in New Zealand, how do you think that New Zealanders view it? It's almost a dirty word in some respects, you know. It's respectable if we're talking about sport. Mm-hmm. We're going to go out and play netball, we're going to go out and play rugby. We want to be the best in the world, it's all right. If you talk about business and economic activity, the, the game that I'm most closely involved in, how that impacts the current generation and future generations in New Zealand, our prosperity, it's almost a little bit of a dirty word. It's mm-hmm. like actually she or he is, you know, the, the classic tall poppy. It's like she's trying to do this and what makes her think she can do that? We don't celebrate it enough mm-hmm. as we should. So I think we, again, I think we need to find ways to, to talk about it to engage in it and to, to invest ourselves in that ambition, to celebrate it. Mm. 